Okay, so let's have a look at 2021, Leaving Cert Higher Level Maths Paper 2, question 4. So in this question, in part A1, we have to prove that the cos 2a is equal to cos squared a minus sine squared a. So what we're going to do is use one of the previous um, trig identities. Uh, we're going to use the double angle formula cos a plus b is equal to cos a cos b minus sine a sine b. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the b here and just change it to an a. So that will give me here cos a cos a, the b changes to an a, sine a sine a. Finally then we have what we need here cos 2a is equal to cos squared a minus sine squared a. And that's it. Very straightforward. Okay, so in part two here, we're given sine theta over two is equal to one over root five. Use the formula cos two a is equal to cos squared a minus sine squared a to find a value for cos theta. So if we take our, uh, let's say, right angle triangle here, and let's say that the angle here is theta over two, we're told that the sine of theta over 2 is 1 over root 5, so this must be 1, this must be root 5, and let's say that's x there, so you've got x squared plus 1 squared is equal to root 5 squared, x squared plus 1 is equal to 5, x squared is equal to 4, x is equal to 2. So we have x is equal to 2 here. That would give us then that the cos of theta over 2 is 2 over root 5, the tan if we need it is 1 over 2. Now what we do next here is we, we've got to use this um, cos 2a is equal to cos squared a minus sine squared a. So what I'm going to do here now is just put in cos theta over 2 times 2 is equal to cos squared our a is theta over 2 minus sine squared theta over 2. Now what I've got on the left hand side here is this 2 will cancel with this 2 here and I'm just left with cos theta which is exactly what we were asked to find. So let's do the right hand side then. We have cos squared theta over 2. Now the cos of theta over 2 is 2 over root 5, so really this is just 2 over root 5 squared. Sine of theta over 2 is 1 over root 5, so that's 1 over root 5 here, and that's squared. So we have cos of theta is going to be 2 twos are 4 over 5 minus 1 over 5, and that will give us the cos of theta, which is what we need, is 4 over 5 minus 1 over 5 is 3 over 5. And that's it. And this is for theta between 0 and pi. If we had have taken negative values up here, we could have gotten other answers, but we just need theta be to be between 0 and pi. Okay, so let's have a look at part B then. Part B here we have uh, the tan. We have the tan of B plus 150 degrees is equal to minus root 3. And we've got to find, we've got to solve the equation, in other words, find what b is. We're told that b is between 0 and 360. So if we just have a look at our argon diagram here, we can see that we're looking at the tan of some angle, the tan of some angle being negative. Now tan is, remember we have a, s, t, c. Sine, cos, and tan are positive in the first quadrant. Sine is positive in the second quadrant, tan in the third, and cos in the fourth. Our angle here needs to be in this quadrant here, and also this quadrant down here, because it would be positive here and here. So this is where our two angles are going to be. So our angle is going to be this angle here, and it's also going to be this angle here. Now, in order to find these two angles, what we need to do really is just find our reference angle, that angle there and that angle there. So what I'm going to do is just look at this root 3. I'm going to ignore the minus because we know that it's going to be minus in the second and fourth quadrant. So really what we need to do 
is find our alphas, our reference angle. And that's going to be root 3. So to find alpha then, what you do is you just do tan inverse root 3. And the tan inverse of root 3 is 60 degrees. So our alpha is 60 degrees. That means our two angles are 180 minus 60, which is 120, and 360 minus 60, uh, which is 300. So that would mean then down here I can write that B plus 150 is equal to 120 degrees and B plus 150 can also be equal to 300 degrees. Now we want to solve for B so we've got to say here that B would be equal to minus 30 degrees so B over here would be equal to 150 degrees. Now in the question here it just says that uh, B has to be between 0 and 360 degrees. So you've got, just got to change this one here. So uh, if we have B as minus 30 degrees, that's just the same as B being 330 degrees. Negative 30 degrees is the same as positive 330 degrees. So these are our two answers here. B is 330 and B is 150. Now you can check both of those by just keying them into your calculator. So what we need to do here is just type in tan, uh, or B is 330, so let's type in 330 degrees and then we add 150 and we should get minus root 3, which is what we do. Okay, the other angle was um, the other angle was 150, so we're going to type in 150 plus 150, and again we should get minus root 3, which is what we get. So that's it. That's it for this particular question.